you've been sent this video because you've said something in a group chat like, my vote doesn't count, or elections are stupid. Get out of bed, sunshine. It's time to engage with democracy. We'll kick off with the basics. In Australia, the federal government is made up of two components, the House of Representatives and the Senate. One chamber makes sure the other chamber doesn't get too full of itself. Let's start with the House of Reps, which is made up of 151 local members. When you see news footage of the Prime Minister and the opposition leader shouting all over each other, this is where that goes down. The 151 local members represent 151 electorates. The way to know we're talking about an electorate is if it sounds like a surname or a place. Think Braddon, Higgins, Cook or Swan. When you're voting for a local member, you're voting for someone to be a voice for your home region in Canberra. Whichever party can control a majority of the 151 seats forms government and the leader becomes the Prime Minister. So this vote helps to determine who the government will be. This is one half of what you're voting for on Saturday the 21st of May. Their role? To introduce laws via bills and to hold the government to account in question time and to shout a lot. And now the Senate or the Upper House. Unlike the House of Reps, the number of senators are spread equally across the states, regardless of population. Each state gets 12 seats and the ACT and Northern Territory get two each. You vote for these candidates on the long white sheet of paper on election day. Why is it so long? We'll cover that in the next video. So what's the job of a senator? To be a house of review, to keep the House of Reps in check. A speed camera on the great highway of politicians making new laws for us all to follow. So, apathetic group chat member, we're looking at you. Your vote counts because you're voting for people to sit in both these chambers of parliament and shape your country. They'll decide how we look after our country, how we keep up with the cost of living and how we respond to everything from pandemics to natural disasters. Elections are how we express our views. So get out of bed and we'll see you at the polls. We'll even throw in a sausage.